y'all, welcome back to my channel. The tea has returned and I'm so, so happy about it. So today we're doing an empties video and I have so many empties. We're not even gonna get through all of them today, I know it, but this is like a good starting point, I think. I personally love watching empties videos, especially like when I unload the dishwasher or like fold clothes. And it's funny because I was watching um, Krima McKimmy's empties video like a while ago and she was like, please, you know, if you usually fold laundry while you watch these videos, go ahead and do that. And I was like, yeah, that's actually what I'm doing right now. So, you know, <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. We have some makeup, skincare, body products, hair stuff, and yeah. Let's just get into this. The first item is kind of skincare, kind of makeup based. It's the L'Oreal Robita Lift Miracle Blur. Now this, to be honest with you, I did not love it. Um, underneath foundation, I found that it really didn't work very well because it was quite pilly. If you're not familiar with this product, it's like a kind of thicker uh, silicone based cream and basically it like blurs your imperfections and it really does blur, which is awesome, but the texture of it was just a little bit too thick. It just didn't quite meld into my skin the way I want a blurring primer to, you know, meld, I guess. <laughs> um, and to be honest, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase. I feel like there's better products out there for this. Next up, I have a shampoo and conditioner from Garnier. This is part of their Grow Strong line. I was not a fan of this. <sighs> I like the smell. Like it has that like really fresh Garnier scent. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it was just really, really heavy on my hair and I have really thin, curly, prone to frizz um, hair. So for me, it just was really too heavy and it made my hair feel really oily. And I'm really trying to find products that don't make my hair feel like that after a shower because then I feel like I need to wash it again. You know what I mean? So. Maybe if you had like really thick hair, like really dry hair, it might really help. But for my hair type, I just wasn't into it. Next, I have the Ola Henriksen Truth Facial Water. This stuff smells so good. Like it's just like a citrusy goodness, you know? Love that smell. Um, now, did I see any huge difference in my skin while using this? I no, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. But you know, like it's a facial mist. It's definitely an extra item to your skincare you really don't need, but I personally really love, you know? So when I repurchased this, I'm not really sure. It was really nice while I was using it, but it wasn't something that was like groundbreaking for me. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. I have two of the Garnier original micellar waters. I have the regular size and the travel size. I love this stuff. I feel like this is like my favorite micellar water um, and it's really inexpensive at the drugstore. Like this size is like $10, which is so, so great. I actually have already repurchased this. Um, I actually got the dry skin version, which is like a new one. So I'll let you know what I think about that. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out. <laughs> but I love this for removing makeup on eyes, face, the whole shebang, even just to remove any kind of oils or dirt from the skin if I haven't been wearing makeup. I love it, and the travel size is so great for traveling. I think I got two or three trips out of this bottle, which I thought was awesome, um, and it doesn't leak in my bag, which is so good. I actually think I'm just gonna keep buying this instead of makeup wipes because it goes so much further, and also I feel like I'm not like tugging at my eyes like I do with makeup wipes, so yeah, love it. Totally recommend. Next, I have a pink grapefruit body wash from the body shop. Of course, I have so much body wash from my old workplace, you know. The pink grapefruit one, it's really fresh. I really like it. It gives me lots of summer vibes, which I really like. Um, I think I like Satsuma a little more than this, but it's still really nice. And I just really love the formula of these body washes, so yeah. I love it. I have not purchased this exact scent recently, but the body wash I definitely stocked up on before I left my job. So yeah, love this stuff. I also have a perfume, which is kind of exciting. Like it, I've never really finished a whole bottle of perfume before, but I finished this one. This is the Taylor Swift Enchanted Wonderstruck. I really like this smell. It's just really nice and sweet, but not over the top. I would probably repurchase it down the line, but I have so many perfumes right now that I just feel like it won't happen anytime soon, but you know, I really liked it while I was using it and I would definitely recommend. Next I have a product that I haven't finished up but I will be getting rid of just because this actually irritated my skin, which is not good. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Mask. This had so much promise because I've actually liked quite a few e.l.f. products that are skincare based. I love the packaging too, you know, but for some reason this mask just really made my skin feel itchy and gave me lots of whiteheads after using it. I'm gonna say sayonara to it. Next I have my Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox 
hydrogel eye patches. These are a Lan recommendation or a Lan Davison. I love that woman. But these were so good. And they had like a really nice like fresh cucumbery scent. I actually have repurchased another version of these. They have a new one which are like um, hyaluronic acid which is like really hydrating and those are really good too. So I'll probably end up repurchasing these again down the line. I'm not gonna lie, like I can't tell a huge difference between the two. <laughs> but they're just really nice for depuffing, for hydrating under the eyes. Especially if you know you're gonna be wearing a lot of makeup one day and you have dry skin like I do or if you just need like a boost. <laughs> These are really good. Okay, I have a couple like little mini mascaras I wanted to go through. So the first one is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This I'm just getting rid of because I really don't like it. Um, the brush is kind of cool, like it's like an hourglass shape, but it's a very wet formula and it just smudged all over my face. And I just, I'm not about that life. Next we have the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. And I actually really like this stuff. Now, it wasn't anything absolutely groundbreaking for me. It was good. It had this like really interesting twisted brush on it. Um, so there's that. I don't know. It was alright, but it, nothing I'm going to repurchase, you know? And the last one is the Dior Show um, mascara. <laughs> I am not a fan of this one either, unfortunately. And the main thing that I really don't like about this is the scent. Like it has like a perfume in the mascara, which I'm like, what? Why would you do that? Like, it's right in my eye. Like, I just, I don't understand. Also, the packaging is like really weird. You like click it down, like all this excess product goes around the rim. I'm just not into it and it also flaked on my face. So, just got an email, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're just gonna say goodbye to this guy as well. Next, I have a body lotion. This is from H2O Plus Spa and it's from the Disneyland Resorts <laughs> collection. Um, it's just their sea salt hydrogen body lotion. This is like, oh, I don't even know. There must be some kind of like an addictive drug in here because it smells so good. And I did purchase this in the little lobby store area of the Grand Californian like quite a few times ago. I have repurchased it since and I'm using the new bottle now, but it just reminds me of Disneyland. So obviously I want to smell like Disneyland. You know? So next, I have another e.l.f. skincare product. This is the Hydrating Serum. And this was beautiful to use. It was so hydrating. It was like a nice, you know, gel texture. It just sank really deep into my skin and it just gave me another layer of hydration. And I'm always looking for that. So I would definitely recommend this. Definitely repurchase it. Yeah, I love it. Next, I have a foundation from Bourjois. And this is the Healthy Mix Serum. This is going to be no surprise because I love this foundation. I actually haven't worn foundation in a long time um, just because I haven't been in the mood to do it. But when I was working a lot, especially, I love this because it was a super nice, hydrating, luminous formula. It smells like fruit, which, you know, I really can't complain about. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really like this stuff. Now, this is actually a little dark for me. This is the vanilla shade. But what I did with this was let me just segue, is I would actually mix it in with one of these two white foundations. I first had the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer, which is really nice. It actually has a squeeze tube, which is great. Um, they have lots of different shades of this, but of course I have the white one because I have so many foundations that are way, way too dark for me. So using this was really awesome. I love it. I would definitely repurchase it. And then pretty much the same thing is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation in the shade white. It's pretty much the exact same formula as the NYX. The only difference is it has a pump instead. And it's the same price too, which is kind of funny. But um, the reason I got this one after using this one up is because because for a long time the Pro Foundation Mixer was out of stock. So I got this on the Walmart website and it's awesome. Totally would repurchase both of these. So it probably just depends on where you can get it and what kind of packaging you prefer. But yeah, I love these. And same with this guy here. I have already repurchased this. Next I have a couple Origins products, like little sample sizes. This first one is the Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't into this. I like the smell, like I love the smell of all the ginseng products. So good, so zesty, great for the morning time, you know, but I just don't like using exfoliation on my face every day. I just don't love that feeling. I feel like it kind of irritates my skin a little bit. So 
For that reason, I'm not going to repurchase this. But if you like exfoliating every day, you might really like this stuff. And then another product is the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. Oh, I love this so much. It's like a gel moisturizer. Again, it has the same beautiful smell. This is so great for the morning time and I just love it. I will totally be repurchasing this down the line. I love this. I would totally recommend. Next I have a dry shampoo. This is the Colab Sheer Invisible Dry Shampoo in the London scent or the classic scent. I can't remember how this smelled. I do actually like the smell of this. It's pretty nice but to be honest with you this just really felt very heavy in my hair like very dry really hard to like blend in and I'm glad my hair is more on the blonde side because without it being blonde I don't think it would really work very well you know so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it I really prefer the Dove dry shampoos especially the volume dry shampoo um, but yeah, just not in love. On the same hair front, I have another shampoo and conditioner. I know. These are from Herbal Essences, and it's the Body Envy. I really like this product. I actually um, need to repurchase it again because I remember really liking that it wasn't super heavy on my hair, but still gave me a little bit of moisture. And, yeah, it smells really nice and fresh, too. This is actually a volumizing shampoo. To be honest, did I notice any change in volume? No. But I really like the way it felt in my hair, so... I definitely recommend it. Next I have some body butter. I have three. These are actually old packaging, which is kind of funny. I liked all three of these smells. First of all, we have Satsuma. Now this one has completely gone like rancid smelling, so I'm not gonna finish it, but I love the Satsuma scent. I will say though, once you open it, it's best to just use that body butter and not like go between other things because it does go bad quite quickly. Um, but I love it, especially for the summertime. It's such like a California smell memory thing for me. Definitely we repurchase it again. Also have this one which is the um, papaya. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It's just very sweet, very fruity, really nice. Now I have not seen this at the body shop for a very long time. I don't think they're making it anymore, but I know that with this one and the next one I'm going to show you, only certain stores get stock of it around the sale time so it's kind of like you have to go to different locations which kind of sucks but if you can find it it's a really good one <laughs> and the last one is the vineyard peach which is such a famous one i've already repurchased it like i have a stock in my bathroom right now oh it is just so sweet but not over the top like it's just peach that's like probably the best way to describe it and it's so so good if you've had this before you know what i'm talking about so yeah I love that. So next I have a concealer. This is the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. And I'm actually very proud that I used this up. One of those twist up like stick ones. Um, it's very hydrating, which I love. Now I do have the shade Light, which is the lightest color. I wish there was one shade lighter because this is very yellow based. And for me, it's not the most flattering. It used to work for me, but these days it just doesn't. Would I repurchase it? Probably down the line I would. I actually do have a little sample size that I need to use as well. It was really nice, for, especially if you have dry under eyes, but I wish it was like a little more pink, you know? Okay, next I have a couple little mini like face mask samples. Um, this first one is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. You guys know how much I love this. Like, it is so good. It's very water-based, you know? Um, it's really nice and cooling on the skin. It's so, so hydrating, and I absolutely love it. I'm really sad this little sample is gone, but I need to repurchase it ASAP. And the last one is the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This has a really big cult following on YouTube, and I understand why. It's, like, really hydrating. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I see myself repurchasing it because... I have the Body Shop British Rose Mask, which is like the same thing, except smells like rose, which obviously Grandma Megs would love, you know? <laughs> this one's really expensive, it's like $70 a full size, and I mean, I already have the Body Shop one, it's like way more inexpensive, and it has a better scent in my opinion, so I'm gonna stick with that one. Next, I have another little lineage sample. This is the Multi Cleanser. I love this cleanser. It's pretty hydrating, but it also exfoliates, but it doesn't have any beads in it. It's almost like a chemical exfoliation, which my skin prefers. Comparing it to like the ginseng one that I shared earlier, that one does have little beads in it, which my skin doesn't love, but it really liked this. And I think I'll have to repurchase it really, really soon because 
it was just really nice. The last thing we're gonna talk about in this video is the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Botanical Toner with Rose Water. I actually picked this up in the UK, and you guys, I really like this toner. It smells like rose. Oh, and it's really nice and light. Um, the difference between this one and the Body Shop one is this one's more of like a regular toner formula. Like it's not like a thick gel. I love the Body Shop one, but I feel like, you know, getting closer to like the summertime and stuff, I would really like to have this again. Now, I know they are bringing this line over to Canada, but I don't know if they're bringing the toner. But if they do, I would totally recommend this. It's really, really nice. Didn't dry up my skin. Just made it feel kind of tingly and just... I don't know, it just made it feel really nice and balanced. And if you're in the UK, please try this. It's so good. I think that's all we're gonna do for today. <laughs> we have quite a few products on the floor right now that I need to pick up, but I loved filming this video. I'm so happy I did it. Um, I was trying to figure out what to film today, and I had like, a couple ideas, but then I remembered I have all these empty products, and I was like, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Let me know in the comments if you have any like recommendations for products or anything that you've used up recently. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a new California vlog. Bye.